What's going on guys, Larry here, kind of filming a uh, postscript to this chess video that you guys are about to watch. Um, this was done on Tuesday. Uh, today is now Thursday by the time this goes up. Uh, so didn't have a chance to do a full push workout. So we only focused on, I only focused on chess today. So um, this is a pretty basic workout, right? Um, you have to understand that as much as people dissect the chest and the sections and this, that, and the other, um, in my opinion, you want to pick exercises that will hit the chest from a variety of angles, but also you want to hit it. Um, you want to use movements that will, I'm trying to say it correctly, uh, hit the muscle at the hit the muscle at its maximum. So trying to cover the, the largest bit of the muscle. So what does that? Compound exercises, big movements, things of that nature. Uh, kind of old school, very bro, but it's what built a lot of quality chess for years. So started out with some flat dumbbell bench, uh, worked up to two heavy sets, no back off set. Um, then we went on to hammer strength incline, did a couple of heavy sets there, and then went into a cluster set, uh, six sets of four reps with about 15, 20 seconds in between each set. Then we went to the machine fly. Uh, I shouldn't say machine fly, more of a plate loaded fly by Arsenal Strength. Uh, really, really good machine, really easy on the shoulders. Uh, really easy on my elbows as well. So those are the things that we rounded out chess with. And, you know, the whole time I'm thinking just uh, something I actually coined during leg day this week. Um, called it strong tension, right? So when you train, there's an expectation, at least for me, when I train, there's an expectation of, Am I going to be strong on this exercise? Am I going to be able to use a maximum amount of weight on this exercise? And while I'm using that weight, am I going to maintain maximum tension in the muscle? Am I going to move the weights with intent where it hits uh, the belly of the muscle and uh, with a with br with brute force, really? So um, that's the, some of the things that I think about when I'm training. So it may work for you, it may not, um, but that's one of the things that I like to cue myself on, uh, maintaining strong tension throughout the movement. So, but really low volume, um, again, not many back offsets, just a couple of work sets and then out the door because uh, I was under the gun uh, to get it done. So, but yeah, hopefully you guys get something from this workout. Uh, I will talk you through the workout and some things that you need to remember and some things you may want to avoid when you're training chest. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, kicking things off with the flat bench dumbbell press. Um, really needed to start out light because I'm still trying to get a good range of motion in my shoulder without it feeling like my bicep is about to seize up because the rotator cuff bicep uh you know that's kind of all attached it works in uh, a synergistic manner um so at one point like i said in the last uh last couple of videos uh, my shoulders were giving me uh issues and it really felt like um things weren't going the way that i would like to go so i went to city cairo and they just kind of adjusted things they got my abduction uh up really good so uh, that's allowed me to use some heavier dumbbells, but I can tell definitely uh, there's a strength decline, which I'm trying to really close the gap on. Uh, it's been harder uh, than I would like, but I got up to 135 pound dumbbells uh, here at Bob's. Uh, not the biggest fan of the Ivanko dumbbell handles here uh, because they're actually a lot smaller than what's at Iron Heaven. Uh, but I went ahead and did work anyway with them. Um, so these are 135 pounds. I'm sorry. Those were 110s I did last time. Um, so I got around about six to eight reps. 
um, no spot, of course, and just really just trying to uh, grind out the reps. So I wanted two sets here with 135, and I was able to accomplish that. Only I got four reps with this set that you're about to see here. So really just trying to make the chest thick. Um, like I told somebody at work today, I don't have to lift that heavy, but I want to lift that heavy in case I get tried on the street because, you know, people. Uh, here we go to the incline hammer press, probably my most favorite chest builder uh, of all time right now in this particular stage of my training uh, lifespan. So really easy on the joints, doesn't kill me. Uh, the strength to fatigue ratio, uh, very much on the uh, side of strength uh, with minimal fatigue. So instead of just piling a bunch of weight on, I only added a 10 pound plate, which proved to be fruitful. And I've cut it down here and I just did uh, a cluster set. I tried to do it muscle round style. Uh, six sets of four, but I was only able to get five. Uh, this really blew up my chest. And the main thing that you want to think of when you're using the hammer uh, incline is not coming all the way back. Um, that you're kind of tucking your elbows. You're not bringing them like uh, straight back. I'm just kind of tucking them. And I really just want that uh, chest contraction at the top. If you're really a sadomasochist, uh, you can attach bands to it. Uh, which <laughs> is really, really difficult. So this is a good basic chest workout, guys. Uh, so we did about three sets on the incline, uh, three sets here included with a cluster. And now you're looking at flies on the Arsenal Strength uh, plate loaded machine. And I did that for about four sets as well. Uh, I kept the rep range pretty much up there about 12 reps uh, I could have dropped the weight and went for 15 but I think 12 was a good uh, starting point and we'll try to progress on this as much as we can um, so yeah that's it um, that's the workout I did triceps for about 150 total reps on the press down uh, that felt really good because this is supposed to be a chest shoulder and triceps uh, workout but it didn't work out that way I was only able to do chest but if you have any questions, please like and subscribe. Let me know. Even if you don't subscribe, drop it in the com drop a comment in the comments. Let me know what you think, what you like to see, and what you like to hear. Until next time, guys. Have a great day.